Nice fish. Yeah. What we can see of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only looks like he's 16th of an inch long. <laughs> Fighting chair here, dude. <laughs> if it seems like I've been dropping lots of sailfish action lately, there's actually a reason for that. This is the season when we catch a lot of sailfish very consistently, and the weather's really nice, so a lot of people want to target them. Today, we're going to join three guys who are old hunting buddies from Illinois who came down here to fish for meat fish primarily, tuna fish to be specific. And in two days of fishing, they had double digit sailfish action both days and provided a lot of entertainment between tuna bites. But for now, let's have a look at some of that sailfish action before we get into the meat. You getting bites, Joe? All right, I'm gonna. God dang it, we got a double on here all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't care. Bring that leader over to me. All right, just stop pulling. You got me here. Yeet. All right. Did he jump? Yeah, he jumped that there. Start cranking this out. You got a little slack in there. Turn, turn. You got to crank. Don't worry about that thing. Got the leader here. Turned around like I heard cheese. <laughs> you had me at cheese. Yeah, you, you had me at salami. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the cooler back there. <laughs> Help yourself. Oh, there he is. You got just about got him, buddy. Just about got him. Hey Joe, yeah. leader's yeah. coming up here. Yeah. Leader's 
Free cheat, crank, 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 crank. Now everyone likes to take a picture of their catch, especially a trophy like a sailfish, but we never lift a billfish out of the water for photos. The science shows us that over half of the time when you remove a billfish from the water, they end up not recovering from the fight. So for that reason, we try and take all our pictures in the water. On the way to Miami, Jimmy. See, see, senor. Bye. Ooh. Look at him coming this way. Watch off the back of the boat here. Freaking fire! Go to the back. Go to the back, Frank. As you walk, gotta get underneath that other boat. Come up. There's a leader. That ain't fair. How dare you. Come forward. Yeah, he's gonna come. He's gonna start going forward. That rod tip. Come up here. Go off a little bit of that flat. Oh yeah. Everybody got the picture? Yeah, All right. Woo. Oh, here's another one here, dude. Another fish? There's a fish in the water there. Bill's not going to go. Free one. Walk back here. Hurry up. Walk back. Walk back. Real while you're going. Real while you're going. Right around back behind the motors. Oh, what a catch. You might have noticed that we're pretty laid back on the boat, especially when we got a lot of fish and there's a lot of stuff going on around us. There's a few reasons for that. First, we're here to have fun and not get stressed out about things, and that's absolutely going to be the way we want it to be all day on the boat, especially when we're fighting a fish. And second, you know, a calm crew is much more efficient and it gives us a really a better opportunity to take advantage of uh, any situation where there's going to be multiple hookups or a couple of fish swimming around the boat that we want to try and get a bait to. Looking for that second fish. Can you find me a pair of scissors, anybody? Right there, right there behind you. Yep. Donnie. Got him. Doctor. Good job. Oh. 
Ja. Nice. Nice. I tell you what. That is fantastic. Some of this underwater footage is actually pretty low quality, but I included it to show a couple of different things. One, how the fish behave when they're around the boat. If you look closely, you're going to see there's other free swimming sailfish in the background with the fish that we're actually doing battle with. Can you find them? If you find them in there, leave a comment with the timestamp in there when you notice more than one fish in the background. Look at him fend out on top there. Yeah. Oh, that's another fish, another dude. That's another out. one with him. <laughs> Get a pitch bait ready, Joe. These yeah, guys love go. sailfish. <laughs> Okay, now here's a fish that comes up tail wrap. This means that the leader got wound around his tail during the fight and nearly exhausted the fish to the point of death uh, as we brought him up to the boat. So we always make every effort that we can to resuscitate a fish like this. And despite the fact that, you know, it looked like a pretty grim picture when we first got our hands on the fish, we eventually got the fish to snap right back and the fish swam away strong. So we're happy to see that. Bit down on my hand again. Is this tail moving? Can't see. Can you come behind me and look? Yeah. Looks like it's moving. Yeah. You ready to go? Go ahead and send him. I tell you, Dick. Good job, guys. Okay, I got it. Coming this reverse, George. Go break off. Ah, 
<laughs> gotcha. How'd that feel? Oh, I felt one. All right, if you'd like to see part two of this trip involving the actual tunas these guys were after, along with some other toothy party crashers that came along while we were catching these tunas, uh, that video is going to drop in a day or two, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when the video drops. I'm George Labonte. Thanks for watching.